Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial with you guys. I am going to do a long stitch on this book here and we're going to do something special to that long stitch when I'm finished. Now I have done a long stitch tutorial in the past. This one is going to be slightly different but the same concept and I will link that here as well so you can check that video out but I'm just going to run back through it. If you are interested in seeing the long stitch tutorial then stay tuned. Hey guys, so the first thing that I did like I always do is I create a little sketch of where I want the holes in my spine and in my signatures before I begin binding. So I went ahead and drew that out and I punched holes through my spine and I also punched holes through each individual signature. I have 11 signatures here. Each one has about four pages in them. So they're relatively small signatures, but for this particular style of stitch, I wanted more signatures and I'll show you why at the end. So that's the first step. From this point, we can begin binding. So this is the this is the book cover here and it has a two inch spine, nothing too crazy. And so the first thing we're going to do is thread our needle. You can either thread it like I've done here where I just have a little tail on one side and a, a significant length on the other. I have about 12 feet here. Or you can double thread it and have 12 feet on both sides of your uh, needle loop. That's completely up to you. I have a bit of a thicker thread, so I'm going to just single thread it. We go ahead and grab our first signature, and I'm going to start from the back of the book and work my way to, to the front like I normally do. We're just going to go into the center of that signature, and we're going to start from the first hole at the top. So for the long stitch, typically you need a row of holes so that these are kind of your turnaround points and then you have your basic holes where your signature is actually going to be held together. The long stitch is essentially a pamphlet stitch. You're just connecting all of the signatures with just one string rather than each signature has its own string, if that makes any sense. So we're going to start from the back, but we're never going to tie it off until we get to the very end. That's essentially what's going to happen. So we're going to start with this first hole at the very top. We're going to thread that through and thread that through the spine as well. And that's the first hole there on the spine. Go to the center of that signature and make sure you leave yourself a little bit of a tail. I'm going to just tuck this under here so we don't lose it. And that's going to be what we tie off at the end to secure all of the signatures into the book. Okay, so once you have your thread all the way through that first hole, the next step you're going to take is you're going to feed your needle right back through the same hole. This is going to begin our stitch and this will allow us to connect them all together. And I'm going to pull this until I am left with just a little tiny loop and I'm going to feed my needle back through that in just a moment. So now we can go ahead and go into the next hole and feed that down through the spine. And just be careful not to pull out your little loop. For the first signature, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but after the first signature, it gets a little bit easier. And then we're going to move on to the next hole. Now my next hole is actually all the way down here. And again, I'm going to pull that as tight as possible without pulling out my little loop. And then feed it through the last hole of this signature. Okay, now we are about to add the next signature. So the next thing we're going to do is just go over to this next hole. And we can go ahead and feed that into the next signature. And don't forget we're starting from the back, so you want to pull the second to the last signature and go ahead and put the needle through there 
and hook this one on. And then same process, we're just going to go straight up the signature. But this time I have created a different kind of style. So I have one signature that has a very long string here and then I'm going to have the next signature that has a very short string and I'm going to alternate that all the way across the spine and I'm doing this for a specific purpose you don't necessarily have to do it this way this is just a basic tutorial of the long stitch what I'm going to do at the end is purely optional but I thought it would be a neat addition to the long stitch if you want to do what I'm doing later then you may want to give yourself a smaller section. And again, we want to pull that as tight as possible. Keep in mind that there is still a little loop there that we have done nothing with yet. And then we're going to just go ahead and move on to the next hole and go ahead and feed that through the signature as well. And then back to the top hole again. And here is where we are going to get a little bit more technical. So I'll go ahead and feed this through the spine. But then we're going to take our needle and we are going to slip our needle through that little loop that we made in the first step. And we're going to come from the right. If you're starting from the back, you're going to come from the right. And now is the time where we can pull it really hard so that all of our stitches are very tight. So now I have my stitches nice and tight. And the next step is to go ahead and follow the same process. And we're going to continue that all the way up to the top signature. So once you get to the very last hole uh, of your very first signature, it would be the last one you stitched, then you're going to go under the previous loop like we did before. Pull that all the way through. But then, to finish it off, we're going to go back through the very last hole again. Okay, and then once we get that all the way through, then what we're going to do is take our needle and feed it under this top loop here, and we're just going to tie it off. And I'm going to double knot this just to make sure it is extra secure. And then we can go back to the beginning where we started our first signature and I'm just going to knot this as well. So, there we go and then I can trim off that excess as well. Okay so what I 
What I plan on doing from this point is I planned on doing a little weave and I'm going to do that through these shorter threads on my spine. So what we want to do is we're going to go over the long threads and under the short threads. Just going to pull that through there all the way to the end of my thread and I'm going to just push that up as far as I can get it and I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of a tail because I am going going to tie this off and then now I'm going to go under the long threads and over the short threads up as far as I can get it and then we're just going to repeat this process all the way down alternating between going under the short threads and then going under the long threads what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and tie this off now that I have gotten it started so I'm just going to loop it under this longer thread, doesn't really matter, just as long as you can give yourself a little knot there. And I'm also going to double knot that so that it does not come apart. There we go. So just as a side note, I'm not pulling too hard when I go through because if I do then these weaves will all be scrunched together so I'm just barely tugging on this string as I pull it through so that I can keep this same shape. That's really just for preference, like if you prefer it to be a little bit more scrunched together then you could certainly pull this tighter. Okay guys, once we reach the end, we can go ahead and tie this off, and we're going to tie it off the same way we tied it on. Just going to go around this thread here, and double knot it. I'm trying to get that knot as close as possible to the weave so it will all blend in, and then we can cut it off. I'm just going to 
straighten up my weaves a little bit. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.